What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel page and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and be notified for future readings. Come on, bad boy. Come on, baby. I'm sorry. Come on. Um, this is free general collective reading uh, for Sag for mid June of 2022. I'm doing all the signs a little early than June 15, so because I'm getting big, bad, 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 bad. Because <laughs> I've been getting a lot of um, futuristic type messages, so um, I'm hoping you guys get them before they resonate out in the 3D. That's my hope here. So you plug it in, how it resonates. This resonates with Sag, any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter. I encourage everybody to check out their, at least their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs for um, more message or messages if they do resonate for you. One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else, you guys. So plug it in, how it resonates, okay? Okay. So the channel I received was, um, uh, well, there was a couple. So the first one I heard was, um, drug smuggling is about to be very publicly exposed in a workplace soon. I heard specifically hospital and warehouse and behavioral health facility. Um, I didn't hear long-term care in this one. I heard um, hospital, behavioral health facility, and um, warehouse. I've been pulling in a lot of drug smuggling recently, and especially in Sages. Um, maybe you're the one about to expose it, or maybe you're the one that's been uh, covering it up or trying to cover it up. I'm not sure. I Only you know your story, not anybody else, Sage. Only you are responsible for the actions you take in this, not anybody else, okay? So um, you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a hospital, a warehouse, and a behavioral health facility. So I feel for some, you could be the one to help expose this shit. For one, you might have been covering it up or help cover it up. Only you know, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? These are psychic, intuitive messages, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. It's for Sana Sag for mid-June of 2022. If you think anyone else would like this, this channel or my... Um, or the messages, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, please feel free to share my channel very publicly via social media and word of mouth. I'd very much appreciate it. Asaj's baby daddy is about to become a huge thorn in your side. Oh, my Lord, you plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, whoever you are, Sag, um, I feel you're a femme, but for, I guess for some, you could be a masculine. Um, your baby daddy. I heard specifically your baby daddy, so I don't feel y'all ever were like a thing. Um, just for real, because I heard baby daddy. Um, well, and if you were, it wasn't a serious thing. I'll tell you that. Um, I heard he's about to be a huge thorn in your side soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates there, Sage. Uh, I think it's going to start causing you a lot of problems, is exactly what I think here. Um, whoever you are and how this applies, um, somebody needs to be careful. Uh, their baby daddy? I'm just being free. Cheetah? Fish? A Sag is about to get offered a promotion soon. Some on their social media platform. Some in 3D workspace energy. Okay. So promotion energy soon for a Sagittarius, whoever this is for. Uh, one of you guys is about to get offered a promotion soon. Some in your 3D workspace energy. Some in... Um, on your three um your social media platform so um i've been offered uh promotions before on my social media platform on here um i have uh before many promotions but um i have just chosen not to take take them to be honest um uh, it just it wasn't anything i wanted to promote like it was a psychic service that i've never utilized and then some fake flowers um i don't believe in i mean i don't want to get on here 
modeling some fake flowers or talk about a psychic service I've never damn utilized, nor would I ever. I am the psychic service on here. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I'm not downing them. We have been pulling out the wolf energy and a lot of signs readings. A lot of Secret 7 energy has been pulling in here a lot. I'm not saying this is Secret 7 in here, but I'm just being pro pro. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But that's that's why I don't do the promotions on here. for. And I've been offered, like I said, a psychic service wanted me to promote and a um and a um fake flower company or whatever i mean i'm not down anybody that buys fake flowers or what have you but i i just that's not me so i'm not going to promote something i'm not into you know but one of you guys is about to be um offered a promotion on your social media platform so maybe you're you'll be maybe you will want to do it maybe you won't i don't know only you know your story not anybody else there Sage change we've had a lot of change in um, a lot of readings too a sagittarius feminine is about to find out she is pregnant it's about to shock the hell out of her for some you are a popular reader oh my god whoa you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, Lord. A popular reader, so I think you're a tarot card reader. Or, uh, yeah, I do. I think you're a tarot card reader. Oh, my Lord. Whoever you are, you're a popular tarot card reader. If this resonates for you, Sagittarius. Oh, my God. Um, Whoever you are, I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you, but apparently you've been getting, you've been getting down. Um. Not trying to be crass. I'm just being for real, for real. You've been getting nailed, man. Um, I don't, I mean, I'm not judging. No judgments here. No judgments. But one of you guys, you're a popular tarot card reader. Um, either out in the 3D community or on social media. I'm feeling, I'm, oh, Lord. I don't know. Let me see if I hear anything else. And that's a change, too. Online social media platform. Oh, oh, okay, online social media platform. And one, you are out in the 3D. You do not have a social media platform. Okay, it's at least two. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so one, you have a, a you are popular online social media platform. Pregnant, thin sag. And one, you do not have a online social media platform. And you do your, um, Tarot, tarot readings out in the community. So three, like a, either a work, like a business setup, or you have clients come in your home. However, that resonates. Oh my Lord. You plug it in, how it resonates. At least two pregnant Sag readers in the universe. One, they have a um, online social media platform. I do feel they're popular. And one, they do community tarot card readings and um, not on social media platform energy and so they're about to find out they're pregnant about to be shocked oh my lord spirit messages you have before you one they're going to find out through series of chain of events it's twins one they're going to find out through series of chain of events it is twins oh my god wow you both of these situations you're much further along than you thought you would ever be one past gestation for an abortion oh my lord holy crap you plug it in how it resonates oh my god you whoa you plug it in how it resonates sorry y'all this is getting so juicy so quick oh my god okay so one of them one of you guys you're about to find out you're pregnant. Okay. One, you're going to be past gestation in your state to get an abortion. You're going to be that far along. And one, you're going to find out you're pregnant with twins. Um, I th and I heard both of these situations, you're further along than you thought you were uh, when you find out you're pregnant. So I'm feeling at least 20 weeks to find out. 
I'm feeling at least 20 weeks. Oh, my Lord. Spirit messages you have reflected. I don't know. I didn't hear 20 weeks in here, you guys. But I am feeling at least 20 weeks. I mean, pregnancy test positive And then enough to get an ultrasound is what I'm trying to say. Oh, my Lord. What? It's, you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my God. Uh, both of these situations are going to be shocking. Um, I'm assuming, I don't know how it's going to affect your client tail base there, Sagittarius. I don't know. For some, you could be in public relationships. For some, not. But I heard the pregnancy is going to shock the hell out of you. That's for sure. Um, whether you're in a healthy, stable, dependent, dependent, um, code, I meant healthy, stable, grounded relationship or not. Um, I don't know. You plugging in how it resonates. Oh, my Lord. Number nine could be very significant number of one's life. It could be a possible age of a child or years or somebody you're connected to. Number nine, you plug it in, how it resonates, or any other significant number of one's life. Fish and cheetah, you could be dealing with a water sign or another fire sign. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Haven, Jupiter, Charts. If that resonates for you, Sag, holy crap! A Sagittarius re allowed a water sign back into their life. Lover. It's about to create many series of chain of events here. Many. One, it is the pregnancy. One, it is going a very significant altercation of this water signs friend group. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, when do you guys allow a water sign lover of your past back, basically? Um, whether you're the online social media person or the reader in the 3D. I feel in, or it could be any other person, any other side, whether you're a reader or not. But I am pulling in those two readers that are pregnant. Um, I feel it sounds like they're pregnant right now. They don't even know they are, but they're about to find out they are. And one's pregnant with twins, just saying. Um, but however that resonates, whether it's these pregnant readers or not, whoever this message is for, you allowed a water sign back, lover back. So a past lover back into your pants and your bedroom and your space and your life, basically. Um, whoever this water sign lover is, I heard um, it's, gonna, it's about to create a series of chain events. One of them is some kind of argument between their friend group. And I think it might be their friend group and you. Or their friend group and somebody else. How that resonates. Um, it doesn't sound like the water sign is going to be in the middle of this argument. It sounds like it's in your reading. So I think you are going to get in. For some, you're going to get into the argument with the friend group. This water sign's friend group. Uh, for some, it could be somebody else about to get into the argument with the water sign's friend group. Maybe it's somebody you're connected to about to get into the argument with the water sign's friend group. How that resonates. But the water sign's friend group is very significant in here. For at least one of you guys. That sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. So um, this is your water sign past lover here. Your fish energy. Um, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Haven, and Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you. And then there was another one too. Um, let me see if I can remember it. Oh, the pregnancy. I heard the pregnancy. Yeah. So, um, the pregnancy. So, so one of you guys allowed a previous water sign. They could be a karmic or they could be a twin. I don't know. Only you know you're sworn out and anybody else. But it sounds like you would cut it off or they had cut it off and now they're back. Now they're back. I heard you allowed them back. So, I think they came crawling back to you. So, I think you cut them off is what I think, Sag. I think you cut them off and they started crawling their little fishy self back into your pants. And then, boom, baby. For some, it's two babies, and I'm just being for real. Whether you know it or not right now or not. Uh, at least two of you don't know it right now. But you're about to find it out. At least two of your readers. 
whether you do an online social media platform or not. But here's your little fishy crawling. They crawl back and boom, little babies or baby. You plug it in how it resonates. Oh my Lord. Whoa. For, I feel for some, they could have, uh, have strong, heavy Pisces um, for some reason because we've got the Piscean symbol there. Um, and I'm just being for real. Um, it's definitely a Cancer Pisces Scorpio with any placements in their Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but I feel for some, they could have heavy Pi Piscean place placements or have like a Pisces. I just heard Pisces rising, Pisces rising. So they could have Pisces rising, but I am feeling st uh, heavy, strong. Pisces placements for some reason I am. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Wow! Oh! Kita. 34, 28, 29, 30. 34, 28, 29, and 30 is what I just heard. 34, 28, 29, and 30. So I'm feeling your... Um, Water sign lover of the past that you, it sounds like you blocked out, but you allowed back, or there was some kind of falling out, and then you allowed back. How that resonates that helped you and um, your fem that this resonates for you that basically impregnated has it sounds like or has already impregnated you with a bun in the oven for some two buns, buns in the oven, and for some you don't even know it yet. Um, Maybe they're 34, 28, 29, or 30, because I heard 34, 28, 29, 30. Or 34, 28, 29, 30, or some kind of significant jersey numbers or significant numbers in some shape, form, or fashion. You plug it in, how it resonates. It's your little water sign that came back with the penis. Ah. Cheetah. Information on a coven is about to go fast, 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 fast. Secret society and coven. It's about to go fast. Know this. And through many series of chain events, it's about to get into the hands of a the actual of an actual light side right person this time that's going to do something about this of the past. Gang stalking, bullying, and harassment. Energy sucking off a of family. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. So if this resonates for you, I heard, um, you know, you could be the one that's going to, uh, maybe you're the a light side individual that the information gets into your hands and you do something about it. For some, for some, you could be one that was covering this shit up. I mean, I don't know. Are you high vibrational or low vibrational? Or maybe you're one that's about to deliver the evidence to police or feds or the high vibrational position of high authority that can do something about um, reprimanding person or people that bullied and harassed and energy shared off the damn family. You plug it in how it resonates, but they have the cheetah energy. So whether you're the one about to, I feel for some you're about to deliver this COVID information to police, feds, um, important person uh high vibrational person or something of that nature for some for some i feel you might have helped cover it up and i'm just being real and for some i feel um you might be the high vibrational person that's about to take this information and run with it literally like a damn cheetah anybody doesn't know cheetahs they can go up to 40 miles per hour miles per hour my dear with their cheetah legs they go fast I do. Hold on one second, you guys. Apologize. Hello? Um, this is her mother.
Um, I don't, um, I don't currently have full custody of my children. It is their, um, my ex-husband. So you'll have to call him. Okay. Um, thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Okay. I apologize. So sorry about that. Okay. So yeah, it's about to go fast. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. So it's COVID energy. It's COVID energy and it's about to go fast, baby, fast. Um, kudos to whoever's about to help deliver this information fast. I'm just being for real. Um, yay. Woo, 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 woo. I mean, I'm being for real. For one, I feel you could be a high vibrational person about to take this information and run with a cheetah legs up to 40 miles per hour. Just saying, just saying, just saying. So fast energy with the cheetah energy, um, COVID energy. But it's I heard that energy shared and energy sucked and energy fed, like energy succubus, this COVID did off this family um, in the past. Probably with hidden camera energy, like Secret 7. Um, there's a, a way they could do it sneaky and secretly behind the scenes without the family knowing. It had to have been hidden camera energy is what I'm feeling for a lot of these situations because there's a way they were able to do it without the family knowing. I don't think these people lived in the home with family is what I'm saying. They energy shared. There was a way they were able, able to energy share. And I think it was through a hidden camera is what I'm trying to say. But only you know, not anybody else. There's some kind of evidence. Evidence is about to fly in. Evidence is about to fly in is what I, and I heard that big. I heard it big. Evidence is about to fly in, baby. It's about to fly. Fly like an eagle into the sea. Oh. Wolf. A Sagittarius considers themselves a lone wolf. Very creative, very independent, and they're about to show this to the world. Publicly. Okay, lone wolf Sag, if that resonates for you. Um, if this resonates for you, uh, you're a Sag lone wolf. I heard you consider yourself a lone wolf, so it's not Secret 7 in this aspect, but I will say, I just want to disclaimer this. Um, I feel that message with the Black, um, Black Magic Coven evidence, I think it might be Secret 7 related. Wolf pack energy. Wolf pups. Wolf puke energy. Uh, 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 little wolf pups. And I'm just being for real. That's what I feel. And I hope it is. Because that was some sick shit. It just really was. Nobody would appreciate that shit. That's um, disparaging of rights, liberties, People's rights and liberties being stomped and treaded on. Just saying, just saying. We might need to hear that. So if this resonates for you, Sag, you're a lone wolf, Sag. I heard you consider yourself a lone wolf. So you're very, in, I heard you're independent, creative, and you're about to show the world, basically, baby. You can be masculine or femme, Sag. Lone wolf, Sag, energy. Hold on one second, you guys. What is going on? Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I heard some noises out there, but I didn't see anything, and the cats were chill, so I was just like, what the hell? So, I don't know. Oh, okay. Large brush pickup. Okay. Well, we don't have any this time. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, you're Lone Wolf Sag, and you're very creative. You're about to show the world. I'm feeling social media energy, or you're about to change your look up, is what I'm feeling for some. Feel it's either changing your look up, like aesthetically, or some kind of like social media platform energy, or it could be a new creative, creative project. Maybe for some, you're about to invent something, um, possibly, and you get a patent, uh, maybe for some. If you plug it in, how it resonates. Change.
There is about to be a very significant argument between a Sagittarius and a Gemini for one. Life-changing argument between a Sagittarius and a Gemini for one. For some, a Sagittarius and a Pisces. Some, a Sagittarius and a Scorpio. Life-altering. Oh my God, life-altering. So you plug it in how it resonates. So... Some between a Sag and a Gemini, masculine or femme Gemini, masculine or femme Sag. Some between a um, Sag and a Pisces, masculine or femme Sag, masculine or femme Pisces. Some between a Sag and a, um, who was the other one? Um, Pisces, Gemini, and there was another one. Oh, shit, I hate, I cannot remember. Um, Gemini. Okay, they're all Sages. Gemini, Sag, uh, Pisces, oh, Scorpio. Gemini, Sag, and Scorpio. So, masculine or femme, Gemini, I'm, shit. Why do I keep saying Gemini? Masculine or femme, Sag, and masculine and femme, Scorpio. You can have Scorps in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Ben, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts, if that resonates. I heard life-changing, a life-changing argument. So, I mean, and I think it's going to make things go fast uh, with the cheetah energy. It's going to make things go fast. It's a life-altering argument. I think somebody's wish is not going to be granted in this, and I'm just being for real. Uh, may, either yours or theirs, but it's about to be a life-altering argument. I'll tell you that. And I think it's going to go fast. Hopefully not fighting. Just saying, just saying. Lobster, financial pinch. There's about to be significant video evidence of a Sagittarius with involved in free willingly involved in drug smuggling. Some at a long term care facility, some at a behavioral health unit. You will be terminated for this soon. Know this. Video camera evidence. Corporate is getting a huge wake-up call. Huge wake-up call. Oh, my God. Whoa. So, you plug it in. How it resonates. Oh, my God. And that's a change, too. Well, some of you guys are about to be heroes. Earlier, I heard warehouse, hospital, and behavioral health facility. And, and that's all I heard earlier. But I think y'all are about to be positive in that earlier. This one, you really are involved in the drug smuggling. Like, you aren't free willingly involved. So, like, you are involved with the shit. Like, you are you are down for the shit. You agree to the shit free willingly. I mean, I, I heard video camera evidence. Corporate is, like, on your ass. Whether you know they are or not. Sag, whoever you are. Oh, my God. Um, I heard you're about to be terminated. You're about to be terminated. Well, you should. And you should. Um, I think corporate has been watching video cameras um, of this behavioral health facility, this long-term, or this long-term care facility. That's what I'm pulling in down here. Um, for some, you are positions of high authority. For some, you're not. For some, you're positions of high authorities. For some, you're not. So for some, you are positions of high authorities, and you're involved in the shit, free willingly. Some, you are not positions of high authority, but you, I feel your employees there. And you are free willingly involved in the shit. I heard you're about to be terminated, whether you think you are or not. Corporate's on your ass. And there's some kind of video camera evidence, I think, about to be displayed for the termination. That's what I'm feeling. Oh, my Lord. Financial pinch. So, that's the uh, not wrongful termination energy there. Wow, man. Oh, my God. Let me see if I hear anything else. These people are about to be pissed. Corporates are about to be on them like white on rice. Oh, didn't think they were watching. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, my God. I heard didn't think they were watching.
watching Gotcha Bitch. Oh my God, you just, what in the world? Oh my God, didn't think they were watching Gotcha Bitch. About to be terminated, man. But in all fairness, you should be. And you will not be able to find another um, good employment opportunity in your city. Know this. Or cities around you. You will have to move a very, 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 very far away. Way. Know this. You plug it in how it resonates, man. And I heard you will not be able to find a good, um, another good job around you, close around you, or the cities around you. You'll have to move a good amount a ways away. So you'll basically have to move, or you will have to move to find another employment opportunity. Whoever you are, low vibrational beings involved in this shit. I heard you didn't think corporate was watching, but they're watching, bitch. Um, I think they're about to surprise you with this surprise termination. And like I said, if you want another employment opportunity you're going to have to move i heard it's going to spiritual downloads a long distance away because they're they're going to spread it around to their other facilities uh, well if they terminate you you're, you'll be closed out in the entire company basically and that's trust me i've been wrongfully terminated four times trust me and i i would never ever dream of doing shit like this ever i would be the whistleblower in this shit um and that's the truth um, but you free willingly allow this shit. You should be terminated. And that's just a damn truth. Damn truth. Just saying. So, um, but yeah, I heard you're going to have to move a long distance away, man. A long distance away. You should have to move a long distance away. Whoever you are, just saying. And I hope your ass goes to jail. Revocation of licensure, licensures are coming. For the positions of high authorities. Soon. These people, corporate people in corporate are not playing around. They're going to report to the board for some medical professionals. Oh my God! You fool! Oh, whoa, I'm getting too excited. Yo! Whoa! Oh shit, I think members of corporate watches my videos. Maybe you're a member of corporate about to take the cheetah energy. Oh my god, I heard didn't think you were watching, bitch. Oh, I wish I watched in court. I wish I worked in corporate and was able to view video cameras and call people doing this kind of shit. And I'm just being for real. That would be an awesome job, man. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm scaring my cats. That would be an awesome job, man. Can somebody hook me up? Um, can I work for corporate? Um, I just want to say this while I'm on here and I'm getting on these channels. If somebody from corporate, because y'all know I'm a nurse, I'm an RN, been an RN a hot minute. I just, my damn community, I don't know what the hell's wrong with them. Uh, I guess they're threatened or jealous or some shit. I don't know what the hell's wrong with them, but I've been wrongfully terminated four times in my city, man, four. And I would never, ever, ever get involved in drug smuggling ever a day in my life. I'd be the fucking whistleblower. And that's just the damn truth. I don't believe in drugs. I've never done drugs. I don't believe in drug smuggling or illicit drug use or any of that shit i'm very anti against it but my point is if you work in corporate can you hook a sister up with a um a job hell i do it here from my own home viewing in all the video cameras if i catch some uh catch some assholes i'd be ring 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 a ling -a whoever i need to ring 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 a ling that's the damn truth i'd love to catch some assholes up in here on the video camera evidence just saying, just saying, from the comfort of my damn home. If I had to dress nice and go in, I guess I'd, I'd do it. But I'm just saying, whoever you are, well, two, you're about to get terminated. Just straight up, man. One, you're a position of authority. One, you're not. One, you're going to, corporate's going to take some action to revocate your license. You're a medical professional. And we're back now. In all seriousness, you should. They should. They should. You made the free willing choice to do that shit. You should have the, they should have, that they have the free willing choice to report your ass to the board, uh, whatever board. It's a medical professional board, whatever board that is. I didn't hear specifically what title you are, sir, or sir, ma'am. But your ass about to get reported. Once you get reported, it's going to create a series of chain events to replicate your license. 
I had to report a nurse when I worked at the hospital for shooting up on unknown medication for her ass cheek when I worked in the ER. So, I mean, that's just the truth. So, they're about to catch your ass on video camera evidence, drug fucking smuggling. They should, I, if I would do the same damn thing if I worked in corporate. And I'm just being the day, I'm just speaking the truth. It's about to create change, man. Financial pinch is you about to be in financial straits because you're about to lose a damn job. But that's not a, that's not a not wrongful termination. That's a rightful fucking termination. Whoever you are, it's at least two scientists in the universe, low vibrational scientists. One, you're not a position of authority. One, you are. You plug it in, hot resonates. Or you can have side in your chart. You plug it in, hot resonates. Things are about to start happening very, very, very fast with this. Very fast. Things are about to start happening very, very, very fast, very fast. So things are about to start happening very fast with this financial pinch. Um, I think the not, not wrongful termination, um, calling in, display all the evidence for the um, drug smuggling on video camera evidence, the termination, and the call to the board of, um, well, it might be I almost said board of nursing, but it might not be a nurse. It could be really be anybody. It's a behavioral health unit and... Um, uh, skill nursing. So if, if I automatically think nurse, cause y'all know that's my genre nursing and I, hell I've worked in, I have never worked in behavioral health units, but I've worked in, um, a lot of long-term care skill nursing. So for, it might be a nurse. It might not be, but it's somebody with a license position of authority. I'll tell you that. However, that resonates and they have to report to a board or they've gotten their licensure for, from a board. I'll tell you that. So automatically think nursing because Hell, I've, I trust me, I've communicated with the Board of Nursing and had communication for the Board of Nursing before for me. But it really can be any profession with the board, is what I'm trying to say. Okay? However, that resonates. But I heard you're going to have to move far away. Far away, man. Well, you did it to yourself. The love of money uh, is about to backfire on somebody. You, you, and that's just the damn truth. You shouldn't be drug smuggling. Hopefully, jail comes to your ass. Hopefully, ch changes jail. These people in corporate are not playing around. Charges filed. One team charges filed. One team charges filed. These people in corporate are not playing around. One team charges filed. So they want to press charges is what I'm feeling. One team charges filed is what I heard. These people in corporate are not playing around. One team charges filed. So they want to press charges. Creating change. They're going to press charges, I think, on these people. Charger charges. And they should. They fucking should, man. That's going to be financial pinch too, I'm feeling. Because they're going to be holed up. They're going to get their licensure taken away for some. For some, they're going to be holed up in legal fees. With this shit and for some they're gonna have to spend the money on the relocation because they'll have to move very 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 far very far away to find another job if they're not in jail maybe someone will buy you plug it in how it resonates broken wishbone wish will not be granted that's the not wrongful termination coming up that's uh revocation of the license coming away that's um charges g gonna be filed from corporate there and i mean hell yeah if anybody in corporate wants a good nurse, I'm telling you, man, I would love to have a job like this. Your job, you and the video cameras. I would love to do that shit. And I'd be very fucking good at it. I wouldn't be sleeping on my job. That's the damn truth. Just saying. I, that's a cool job. I'm just saying. Broken wishbone, wish will not be granted. I told you what I thought it was. Let me see if I hear anything else.
A position of high authority, Leo, is about to connect with a position of high authority, Sagittarius, soon. It's about to be a very significant conversation. Very significant. Know this. Both high vibrational beings. Okay. A position of high authority, Leo, and a position of high authority, Sag, both high vibrational beings. I heard about um, the Leo is about to contact and communicate with the Sag. But they're both high vibrational beings, so they treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrity, and values, ethics. The Leo is about to contact the Sag, masculine or feminine Leo, masculine or feminine Sag. They're about to connect. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, it's a significant conversation, and they're both high vibrational. So I'm not sure what they're about to connect with. It might be this bullshit down here, possibly. Or it might be anything else. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. A very angry Sagittarius stepmother is about to become very, very, very angry. And an angry Sagittarius single mother. Unexpected series of chain events are about to occur in their lives that are about to change their life forever in a way they never wanted it to change for one of these situations a death is going to occur in a facility it's about to cause a lawsuit and it's about to negatively affect one of these people's lives in a very negative way they will be in the middle of this lawsuit oh my lord whoa dear god almighty oh my lord oh that's terrible oh lord you plug it in, I know, oh, you plug it in how I say it. So that's another reason why I like um, doing this full time now. Um, I don't like in the middle of all suits, and that's just the damn truth. Um, that's another reason why I love, uh, I love my job, don't get me wrong. I love nursing, but working as a bedside nurse or a floor nurse, um, which I did that for years, floor nursing and long term care and still nursing, um, and bedside at a hospital. It puts you in the risk of a lawsuit. And that's just the truth. It does. Um, for anybody doesn't know that, it does. Put you at a risk for um, a lawsuit. It's very important to make sure your documentation is on point, accurate, complete, period. Um, and I didn't mind doing that. It just sometimes I had to stay extra hours to do that, which I didn't mind. But my point is somebody in the medical professional field is about to get in the middle of a lawsuit. And I, I say all that because somebody's about to get in the middle a lawsuit some it's a a sagittarius stepmother i heard some it's a sagittarius single mother and they work in the medical professional uh medical profession in some shape form or fashion their wish will not be granted i heard they're about to be in the middle of a lawsuit through many series of chain events their life's about to turn basically change in a way they never thought it would change through series of chain events i think it's a lawsuit coming it's a lawsuit coming up for them that's exactly what it is you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, man. And these people are not going to have a leg to stand on. Not a leg to stand on. Too much evidence. Oh, my God. And these people are not going to have a leg to stand on. Too much evidence. Oh, my Lord. So they either didn't complete their documentation or there's either lack of documentation or false documentation or evidence like video camera evidence or something of that nature that's going to implicate them. I feel they are either a floor medical professional or they are a, I, that's what I feel. I, I heard long-term care and behavioral health. So um, I didn't hear hospital in this one. So or they're a position of high authority and they just didn't fill out their documentation correctly. How would that resonate? Um, you really, I mean, you don't have to be a floor nurse because positions of high authority have to fill out their shit too, correctly. And that's just the damn truth. I've never been a position of authority in long-term care or skilled nursing, but I know I've worked enough in there to know you do. Uh, I was around a very, very, very good, um, I'll just give you an example and then we'll do the last one. I was around a very, very, very good I loved this lady. Like, 
she was actually a Leo too. I'm a Leo son. She was a Leo. Um, I had a lot of respect for her before I found out she was a Leo. I just want to say that. But I loved her. She worked at, um, she was my old boss, uh, one of them, at uh, a uh, long-term care facility here in Huntsville, the one that actually didn't fire me. Um, she was my first uh, D.O.N. there. Um, she moved on and um, when COVID started and all that. Um, I loved her. She was, she was a lot like me. She was a lot like me. And yeah, I was under her, but she didn't treat me like crap on a shoe. She didn't cre treat me like crap on a shoe. In fact, she didn't treat anybody like crap on shoes there. She did expect the work to be done, which it should be done. Um, absolutely. It should be done. Everybody should pitch in their share. And But she worked the floor and rotated with people. And now, you know, but she was the freaking deal in the facility, so she shouldn't have to do it all the time. But she did. She picked up and she worked every now and then. Uh, she worked on Saturdays and she worked, came in when, you know, really needed it and blase, blase, blase. But she never once treated me like crap, ever, ever. Um, at least not to my face. Um, I really liked her. Now, I can't say what was said behind my back because I don't know. But to my face, she was always treated me very fairly and I loved her. I loved her. Anytime I had any concern or or anything, I could always feel like I could go, go to her, period. And that's how it should be as a position of high authority. Um, I never felt like I couldn't go to her. Anytime she had anything with me, she would come to me. Like, I would see her. Like, like if, you know, she was out doing whatever, whatever, and I was out. I mean, I loved her. I loved that lady. She started off, I think, as affection control or something like that in that facility. Um, and then, like I said, when COVID hit, she moved on. But um, but that lady is the epidemic of what a leader should be. Anyway, I'm not talking about um, just long-term care facilities. Um, anywhere in nursing. She, that lady, and she's very intelligent. She was very intelligent, and I love that, too, because we could actually have an intelligent conversation. Um, she, she was wonderful. She was wonderful. But anyways, um, but my point is, I, I digress. It's true. I really digress on that. But my point is, she is what management should be like. I don't care if you're in medical professionals, uh, if you work in the medical profession or not. She is the epitome of what you should be. And I'm serious. I will never forget that lady, but in a positive way. And I mean it. That lady was wonderful. I That was the best manager, boss, supervisor, CEO I've ever had in my entire life. And I mean it. I mean it. I think she was only there. I, she was only my DON manager, I think, for about seven or eight months or something like that. Maybe it was six, something like that. But she was wonderful. She was fantastic. You, you just could not ask for a better one. And I mean it. I mean it. But these people need to act like her is what I'm trying to say. That's where I was going with that. These people need to act like her. They need to act like her. I can't remember that lady saying, to be honest with you. But I do remember she was a Leo son. I remember that. And she kind of looked like me, except a little older. She did. She kind of looked like me, except a little older. I looked up to her because I, one day I wanted to be like a D.O.N. like her, to be honest. I wanted to be a D.O.N. like her. She really... um. She was amazing. She was amazing. Um, but, you know, of course, life changed and all that shit. But um, but she was amazing. She was amazing balls. I just don't want to say about that. But these assholes need to act like her. They, they need a damn wake-up call is what they need. All right, move it on. Good luck. A Sagittarius is about to get a huge energy boost. Who huge energy energy boost? Oh, yeah, I can speak energy boost. Some exercising. Some about to display information they never thought they would display. Realize they were hugely lied to. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So. This resonates for you. You're uh, your Sag, masculine or femme. You're about to. Uh, I feel your high vibrational. Who this is for? You treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrities, ethics, and values. 
Um, you're not low vibrational, um, whoever you are. I, I heard you're about to get a huge energy energy boost. For some, you're about to start exercising. Um, so positive energy shift there. I need to go out and exercise here in a minute myself too. I, uh, whoever you are, you just gave me an energy boost because I need to go. Because y'all see my old woman, 38-year-old woman arms? Yeah, I need to do that for myself. Uh, change. So you're about to create change on yourself with your energy boost. Um, you, you go with your bad self, five, five, five. And one, I heard you realized you were hugely lied to and you're about to um, deliver the information to very, 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 very important people. Very. A Leo is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius's life. Very significant soon. High vibrational Leo. Okay. And I heard a, okay. So a high vibrational Leo is about to become very significant in a high vibrational Sag's life soon. So that's good luck energy um, there. I feel this Leo might motivate this Sag or this Sag will motivate this Leo or maybe y'all positively motivate each other or you share some kind of positive high, high vibrational information that helps person, people, place, family, situation or what have you. I don't know. But there's some kind of good luck energy between this high vibrational Leo and this high vibrational Sag. Masculine of them Leo, masculine of them Sag. Soon, it's going to create good luck energy here. Now, whatever in the world that is, for some, it could be workout partners with exercise. For some, it could be anything else. I'm not sure. But definite high vibrational activity about to occur soon between a high vibrational Leo and a high vibrational Sag. I mean, it's going to create change. It's going to create change. And I feel fast change is exactly what I feel here. But you put confirmation from my kitty, my intuitive one, by the way, fat boys asleep. So you plug it in, how it resonates, you guys. That's really beautiful. It is. Okay. Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur in many Sagittarius' life soon. Some for the better, some for the worst. Depending. High vibrational activity or low vibrational activity. Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur in several Sages' life soon. Some for the better, some for the worse. It really depends on whether it's high vibrational activity or low vibrational activity is what I heard. Heavy change energy in here and heavy fast movement energy here. Um, it really all depends on what spectrum you're on, Sag. Are you high vibrational in this situation or situations or are you not? Um, so only you know your story, not anybody else, okay? Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, okay? I love you guys. I hope this helped and namaste.